What is MyRecover? Well, MyRecover is a secure, fast data recovery software. A reliable and user-friendly Windows data recovery software, easy to operate, recover your lost or deleted data from Windows within three easy steps. All inclusive, apply to a comprehensive data loss scenarios in Windows for now. Recover lost data at high speeds and recovery rates and it's compatible with NTFS, FAT32, XFAT, ReFS, and it works perfectly well on Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, and Windows Server as well. And yes, you can recover data with this software from USB sticks, hard drives, portable drives, SD cards, memory cards, etc, etc. Just take a look at this video as I will walk you through the whole process from download to installation to operation to recovery. Enjoy! Today we're going to take a look at my recover from Aomi Technologies and the sponsorship of this video is they send me a license key for the software and that is it. The rest is all my own words. So first of all we land on the website which is a beautiful landing page here and after we hit the free download which I'm going to go with it. In my case we go to downloads and we hit open file so we continue the installation process here click yes when prompted and then the rest is next 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 in my case as i said i have a license so i'll be adding it later agree next where you want to put it yes create a desktop shortcut and we're gonna hit finish here with opening it but we're gonna minimize this one because that's just a uh, big discount. But let me just show you here really quick before we get anywhere else. The free version here that you get up to 30 megabytes of stuff. Then you have the professional version for $39.99 and you have the technician version for $99.99 which in my opinion that's not bad these are for from starters to technicians to home users it depends on your usage you can buy the yearly subscription for 200 bucks or you can go with a lifetime 340 dollars that's usually not much if you use it a lot and here we are inside the software itself now and we have the drives preloaded here and you in this case will have to go and uh, take a look at which drive you would like to use which is the drive that you have the data deleted or formatted or sometimes corrupted but first let me register my software i'm gonna paste this one right here and i'm gonna hit register let's hope it works okay yep it works it works i'm gonna hit okay and we are in business now before we click anything right here we have to make some preparations and uh, let me show you in a second grab your pile of usbs if you are getting data out of a formatted usb doesn't matter if it's 2.0 or 3.0 1 gigabyte or 128 gigabytes it will work the same or you want to get data from a huge old hard drive which is like these ones here three and a half inches or you might be wanting to extract data from the megalith we put there or from the two and a half inch regular hard drives or any other usb as we said again i'm just putting them in a better way so you can see what we're talking about here and let me find this other drive if i can get it somewhere around here and here it is so you want to get data from this sd card micro sd card or any of the camera cards that you might use that you have deleted by mistake or an ssd drive whether it's an m.2 or a regular ssd sata like this one or one of those portable drives like this one that i happen to have right here 256 gigs onm from walmart all of them will work 
just exactly the same. The software will go through them, we'll get your data back, hopefully, and we will all be one happy family. Or you might have more piles if you're a technician, and that's when the pro or premium version enters the game. As you see, I actually have to go throughout all these drives, and these are all my own. These are actually not clients or anything, believe it or not. I just want to make sure that before I bleach bit all these drives, I have recovered anything and everything necessary that I need. Yes, that is the dock we're going to use. It's an Insignia dual dock that I will connect to my USB 3.0 on my Lenovo T430. And we will continue with a clickety click buttons inside the software itself and before i even do that let's plug in the dock that is must have for these drives whether it's the two and a half or three and a half drives they all fit on it because obviously if you have the other drives it doesn't matter or even the sata ssds fit exactly the same on this dock it's probably one of the best docks you can get for this kind of job and the rest of it will be done inside the software itself before we even plug in the hard drive that we are targeting to recover from. Just a second. And as you see here, when you're inside the software, make a mental note, at least if you don't want to write it down, of what drives you have right now. So you don't, by mistake, go ahead and try to recover or do the recovery onto a drive that you do not intend to. So that's why I said before we plug in a drive, take a note what drives you have plugged in. Now, in my case, I'm gonna take off a lot of them because I don't need them. But just as a word of precaution, before you go ahead and do this kind of job, make sure you know the drives you have inside. And now let's go ahead and just insert the drive. And here, I'm gonna choose the first drive. This is the one that we wanna recover from. This one has the data that has been lost and deleted and all that. Years do their own job, so it's not forgiving. And I'm gonna plug it on the first bay here, on the reader. And then I'm gonna pick a second drive, which will be the holder. This one now is a two terabyte drive. It's bigger than the original one because on that 500 gigs we might have data piled up from years that will be transferred after the scan is done to the second drive and i do it this way because i like to it's not necessary that you put both drives at the same time you can actually put the second drive which will be taking the data from the first drive after they're recovered after the recovery has finished scanning uh, just as a matter of me doing it myself i like to do it this way and uh, next step would be simply to select the drive i'm refreshing here to select the drive that we want to target and recover and let's just go through a few small options before we even click the drive that we are going to actually recover today and here we are inside the screen this is the drive by the way that we're gonna start scanning but before that let's uh, just show you here is the language that you can choose help from the help desk check for updates and this is the about which is 3.0 the build of 2023 of my recover version that i have today and as the, after you clicked on the drive you click start scanning and it will take its own sweet little time so don't even think of trying to skip or skimp or anything you must wait until it's done sometimes it will take days sometimes it will take um, even i've i've had it sometimes take even up to two and three weeks so don't lose your temper don't lose your patience with it because depending on the drive depending on how much data is on the drive and how many drives you have and all that stuff and how old the data and the drive itself is it will take its time and this is yes deep scan it will recover 
Windows files with the, with, will recover personal files and more and more and more. And this is four years later. I'm just joking. It's probably three and a half, four hours, I would say, later. And it's still going on around over almost 70%. This is the side that we have been working with. There is thousands of videos, thousands of images, thousands of audio, and thousands of Windows files that it has discovered so far, and it's still scanning. I just wanted to give you guys an update so I don't keep boring you to the end of time with this uh, process. And as you see here, they're all separated in their own respective file types, and that is how you will get them. After you are done with it, the JPEGs will be separate mp4s mp3s and so on and yes on this drive somehow i caught a few 3gp video files that i totally forgot they even existed because last time i've had 3gp files probably was i don't know when i had a nokia or a sliding samsung something like that that means i had this drive for quite a while so what i'm saying is the scan is gonna go on and i think it would be only fair if I showed you a few more filters here that you can arrange it by size, as you see here, by uh, date created and all that good stuff. And after that, you can sort it by the type of the file that you have there. Videos, images, and all that. Let me go to the folder so you can see where it shows videos, for example. You hear right here. And you see there's thousands of videos that is just at this point of the scan just keep in mind the scan is not even 70 percent yet and i don't know why i'm checking here the about but anyway you get the point this was aomi Tech's my recover and in my opinion this is actually great software to have especially if you work with data loss data recovery and all that good stuff and as I said in the very beginning of the video, I was provided the license for the software from Aomi Tech, which I thank them for that. And they did not instruct me to say good or bad regarding the software, even though I have been working with their software way before they ever contacted me, even outside YouTube, because I really just like what they've done. And they keep doing really good software and I hope they keep doing it from now on. And uh, links will be in the description below, as I said. You can go click them on and try it on your computer and see if it works for you. And I think it will, especially if you use any kind of memory from SD cards or memory cards to SSD drives, M.2 drives, two and a half inch hard drives, three and a half inch hard drives, portable drives, USBs, and so on and so on with that said i hope you learned something hit like and subscribe and we will see you next time bye